Hi, in this uh, video I want to make you a short demonstration on how uh, our 3.5 amplifier works uh, in uh, several standards of modulation. Um, first of all, I will show you how it works in FM modulation, that is our standard mode. Moreover, I will show you how it works in um, a linear modulation. Uh, to do that, it's necessary to see that it works perfectly uh, when, uh, even in a standard AM modulation, so like a linear amplifier. Uh, this is useful when you need to drive the amplifier with a digital modulation like uh, DRM or iBook or other kinds of digital modulation. But the first, of, uh, the, the first conditions is that to work, uh, work uh, fine in, in this uh, situation, the amplifier is linear. Um, so uh, now I will uh, first of all show you in FM. And, and then uh, in uh, IM. Uh, I will present you a bit with our instrumentation. In this case, we will use our 3.5 kilowatt uh, amplifier. We will see here the power that is delivering at the moment. Yeah, now we, you see one watt, but it will be uh, okay, the standard output. Uh, the spectrum analyzer connected to this. Um, here we have our signal generator that we use to drive the input of our amplifier. Our amplifiers are always uh, produced with a, mm, a very high um, uh, gain input, so you need a um, low uh, power input to, to drive it. So I am able to drive it with uh, this generator. In this generator, I can apply several kind of modulations that I will show you now, like FM and IM. And the result, what is going off out from the amplifier, this one, uh, is uh, going directly to this uh, our analyzer, the modulator, modulation analyzer, then just uh, we see uh, it's like a receiver with uh, measurements uh, where we see the frequency, the level of deviation, and in this case, we will measure the distortions then gives you the range of um, linearity. Uh, moreover, we will see here in this uh, oscilloscope the real waveform that we are getting from the output of the amplifier. So, uh, excuse me, but now I will turn on the amplifier and it, uh, there will be some noise for the fans of it and it's very difficult to filter this noise so uh, I prefer to give it the, in real time so mm, for now the, the, the sound will be worse than now. Uh, you can see now uh, in, uh, the fire is turned now. now we are in and CW is without modulation, and we can see the output power is 3.2 kilo. Uh, moreover, we see here we are measuring in the demodulator 98 uh, megahertz with some hertz, it's nothing, some hertz of uh, this is noise practically of. Uh, FM modulation. Uh, of course, the, the distortion can be measured, and we see the output of the uh, audio of the amplifier is uh, virtually zero because we are not modulating it. Now, I will enable in the generator the FM modulator just to show you how it works in FM. So I have FM source, and I will, I will put on. Uh, the filter here. Okay. Now we can see here that we are producing a deviation of 74 kilohertz. We have 0.03 uh, percent of distortion, and we can see here is uh, our signal uh, how the signal that is produced. Um, again, we can see here. 
an spectral analyzer, the FM modulation, and we see here the alpha time. Now, uh, I will decrease the output power to uh, have a, to work in linear when we, we need to decrease the output power of at least 6 dB. Uh, so I will go to level and just decrease it. And um, now I will change from FM modulation to AM modulation. Look this here, we have still 99 megahertz, 74 per uh, kilohertz deviation, and here we have our standard uh, signal wave. I will now put our AM, I will turn off the FM. I will go to AM. And I will enable the AM generator. Okay. Now I will go to my analyzer and change the demodulator from FM to AM. Okay. In this case, uh, I can see here the level of modulation and the level of distortion and this sinus that we are producing in this case. Okay. Now we will see. Yeah, I will increase the uh, IM modulation. Okay, and you see I am here 50%, I here approximately 40%, that is the level of modulation with 1% of uh, distortion, 1.5% of distortion. The sinus wave is perfect, as you can see. And moreover, we can see Yeah, I see that we are modulating in AM, but it's more easy to see if I put the spam at zero. You can see the frequency we are uh, now modulating in, um, in AM. Uh, I can uh, show it better. Um, And we can see how we are getting the amplitude modulation. Uh, of course, the depth depends on the uh, amplitude modulation I'm giving here. If I decrease it, for example, We, you see how the amplitude of the sinus here decreases, uh, and you see he, he, uh, even in the spectrum analyzer how it decreases. Now I will increase the phase. Now I'm from uh, almost zero percent of population, and increase to 30%, 50%. In any case, you see the sinus here. You can see that the signal is perfectly linear and the amplifier is working uh, in, in all ways. Um, so, uh, 
and in this demonstration we show you how the amplifier not at the maximum power that works in FM because in FM we are working always as, uh, with the input saturated to get the maximum efficiency and so of course the power delivered in um, FM is always much much higher than in, in a linear modulation. Uh, in, linear, in linear modulation uh, often is half depending on uh, the, their maximum distortion you can can be allowed and uh, sometimes uh, of which, uh, very complex modulations it is a quarter so for this reason I just uh, I will uh, decrease the uh, input of 6 dB to get a quarter of the output power. Uh, so from 3.5 kilowatt we go to the corner in this I am demonstration. Um, but uh, this parameter can be easily changed during, during the and it also the amplifier can be optimized to work uh, specifically in this modulation or in FM. Uh, we need to make uh, an adjustment on the bias circuit that uh, is done automatically, but in this case I just wanted to show you how it can work with both FM and AM without any adjustment. Thanks for your attention. Bye bye.